Hey, yo, what's the good? It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Livecast Season 4. We on YouTube, baby. We doing what we got to do. And, of course, before I begin, i like to shout out the 66 subscribers. I feel like every time I show up, um, there's a new subscriber. So, shout out to the love that we receiving slowly but surely, yet organically. So, I would definitely love to show love to them. So, for those of you who are new, this is episode 29. At the time of this recording, it is December 13, 2021, and you are tuned into the hottest to-do list show, where I basically just tell y'all all all the things I got to do that I believe is going to help me get to $10 million one day, and basically, I just go through it, and hopefully, you can learn something from it. If you have any questions, you can type them in the comments or whatever. People don't really comment to me yet, so I just go through the shit, but you know, we can talk about whatever you want. Happy Monday for those of you who like getting money. You know what I mean? We waiting for the stock market to open. So in the meantime, I'm over here like, damn, got three hours to get some money over there. Uh, let's try to get some money everywhere. You feel me? So let's jump into it. Today is the first day of the work week. So I consider that the first day of the week. I right? did seven days. Monday's one. All right, cool. So remember, there are seven forms of income. Today, we're going to talk about income one, which is earned income. Simply put, exchanging time for money. When it comes to earned income, it, to me, it doesn't matter how much you make because it's all about how much you keep. And also, always try to do your best to either learn this. Well, you can learn it right now. Live by it. And if you're not living by it like me, put yourself in a position to eventually get there. All right. So and that is the 65, 25, 10 rule was good. My man from title town, 65 percent investments, 25 percent bills, 10 percent wants. Actually, speaking about that, you want to one of my man's posted something funny on um social media. He said broke people. It was a meme or something he said broke people spend money. Um, Middle class save money and. The wealthy invest money. And I'm over there like, oh, shoot, that's pretty true because I'm on my 65, 25, 10 shit. And if you really think about it, I'm investing most of my money so that I can eventually get to a financial level that no one in my family can even fucking understand. So I spend most of I invest most of my money. That's why I don't that's why I don't have money in my pocket. That's why, you know, what I'm saying like. That's why I still live like a broke nigga, because my money's being invested, all right? So I come on and tell y'all that. Notice, I don't tell you how much I'm worth. I just tell you, yo, take 65% of your check and invest that shit. And even on my other episodes, when I tell you, well, this side hustle, I did 65% here, it doesn't matter. I know what I'm doing, and there's a purpose for it. And at the end of the day, we're still trying to turn each little side hustle into its own business that can take care of a family on its own let alone having multiple at the same time. So that's the wave I'm on. And I'm trying to get to the point. Now I feel like I got to rush because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm tired of the disrespect. Like, I feel like people only respect financial amounts. They don't respect the hustle. Like, just, just the fact that I showed up, like, and made 30 episodes this month. That should be respected. But instead, it where's the money at? So, you know, I'm, a, I'm probably going to readjust for the new year. And probably have to make some sacrifices so I could rush to the now money. But trust me, if I had my way, if I if I have financial independent or financial literacy growing up, I would just continue to motherfucking invest and, and be on some crazy shit five, 10, 15 years from now. But people don't see the future the way I do. So motherfuckers got to do what they got to do in the meantime. But watch with this investment shit is going to pop off. But that's 65 percent of my main check. All right. Um. Also, you pay bills with 25% of your check, right? So that's where, again, I was born into not enough financial literacy. So I've acquired bills from before I understood what the fuck is going on. So that's another thing people don't understand. Everybody's like, well, you graduated college. You make a lot of money. Why the fuck are you struggling? Because I didn't know what I was doing at that time. And now that I do know, I either I only have two options. Fucking go bankrupt, start all the fuck over. Or slowly climb out the hole that I put myself in while I was ignorant. And why do you think I work so hard so that my son doesn't have to deal with this shit? You know what I'm saying? So 
I, I, I don't spend 25% on my bills. As a matter of fact, after I make my investments, most of my money goes to bills. I barely be having like one or two dollars in my pocket. Why the fuck you think I'm still eating candy from last week for breakfast every day? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if I was really big balling and wasting money on bitches, don't y'all think I would at least have something nice to eat? for breakfast, nigga, I be on that fucking road, hungry as shit, fucking stomach hurt, and all I got is a fucking piece of candy to make sure I save money, so people don't understand that, I'm doing that now, so that later on, I fucking got money, all right, so I don't know what the fuck people are seeing or hearing or smelling, but I'm doing what the fuck I gotta do, and I'm, I show up every day and share this information with y'all so y'all can learn from it too, you shouldn't have to get to 35 years old before you fucking know how this world works, at least this country. So I show up every day, especially for the young children. I'm here for the kids. I know I be swearing and shit and, and, and all of that dumb shit, but fuck the swears. Stop focusing on the wrong dumb shit. Focus on the fact that I'm telling y'all 65, 25, 10. If all you got to do, if all you have is a problem with my swears, don't watch TV, don't go to the movies, don't listen to music, don't go outside, don't do nothing, because motherfuckers be swearing. But outside of the swears, come on, bro, 65, 25, 10, I'm giving niggas game. Now, 10% wants or nigga shit. I don't even spend 10% on myself. Why the fuck you think my TV's off most of the time? I don't even have the, I don't even play the games I want to play. And then you talking about my toys. Remember, these toys are motherfucking investments. They're number six out of seven. So don't get it twisted and think I just be doing what the fuck I want. I don't. And my credit is very long. I could easily go to the mall and do be on some nigga shit and do Christmas like regular people. Nigga, no. I'm doing some shit that nobody in my family has done yet. And that is restart from the bottom and create some boss level shit. So when I'm over there on living on vacation and then motherfuckers in my family is like, yo, Kev, pull up. And I'm just like, all right, let me hop on a jet. I'm thinking about that shit. I don't want to fucking wait. Motherfuckers in my family going on vacation like twice a year, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to live like that no more. I'm tired of my whole family struggling. So I decided, plus, you already see the, I don't get to see my son every day. So of all of my, my brother, my cousins, my age who got kids, they don't, they can't do what I'm doing, right? They got to bring their kids to school and shit. They got to do all types of shit. I'm the one who got the fucked up relationships and, and all of that shit. So I got the time. So what I did was I said, you know what? Every time I, I be faithful to a bitch, they end up fucking accusing me of cheating. I don't got time for that shit no more. I'm tired of being accused of cheating. Like, straight up, I don't got time for that shit. So, and then the whole notion, rumor that I spend money on bitches needs to come to a fucking end. Because I don't even spend money on myself. Fuck, I look like spending money on a bitch. And why I don't spend money on myself? Because I'm creating generational wealth. I could easily spend money on myself. I'll take one of my credit cards, take twenty fucking thousand dollars, go on a shopping spree. Now, what the fuck is that gonna solve? Okay, I got some temporary happiness. Now I got thirty something. Well, actually, I got good credit. Sixteen some fucking percent on a credit card. How the fuck is that gonna help anything? I'm not doing that no more. I don't go backwards. So it's interesting that the motherfucker had that meme up because the sixty-five, twenty-five, ten rule covers all three. And me, I've made severe sacrifices so that my family could live nice. So I just want to clear up once and for all because motherfuckers is talking about me, but nobody's talking to me. If y'all think I'm wasting money and being financially um, irresponsible, do your motherfucking goddamn homework, pick up the phone, call me so I can show you a Google doc, show you how much I have earned this year, and then show you the corresponding fucking account and show you, nigga, I'm doing some shit that's going to change my whole family's fucking trajectory. So if you ain't got the fucking respect, call me directly and ask me what's going on. All I ask is you respectfully, shut the fuck up. Keep my name out your mouth. I don't like niggas talking about me. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Y'all were the same people talking about me when I was getting suspended in high school. Not knowing I got suspended on purpose. Shit was boring. <laughs> Motherfucker sent me three days worth of work. I did that shit in 20 minutes. Why the fuck would I get up in the cold, go to school, be with some people who don't fucking respect me when I could be in my room playing Street Fighter by my goddamn motherfucking self. You tell me what you would have picked. So, of course, I'm going to pick peace over bullshit. Now, y'all think because I'm excited because I, I yell and I'm loud that I'm violent. No. This is who the fuck I was born into. That's why I smoke weed to calm down. 
I smoke weed so I can look normal to y'all. Because when I'm like this, everybody think I'm drunk. Nigga, I'm fucking four, three bottles in. This is bottle number four of water. I don't even drink like that on weekdays. Nigga, I got money to get. Motherfuckers don't know that shit. You see me with a bottle, you think it's all vodka? Fuck you. I'm about to go to the gym soon. Fuck, I look like getting drunk, getting dehydrated, ripping my muscles for no reason. If I'm going to rip them shits, at least it's like, nigga, because some shit happened, not because I set myself up alley you to the field. So I show up and show up every day so y'all motherfuckers can know the real cap. Stop fucking listening to these dumbass rumors. Stop thinking I'm wasting money on bitches. Niggas is building accounts and building generational wealth. All right? So, nigga, what up? Number two. Hold on. There was a message I got. Let me respond to that real quick. I bet. You already know. Wonder said, nigga, do your shit. But, nigga, I got to wait till nine. But, yeah, good luck on that money reminder. I like the niggas on my team who help me get money. Not the niggas trying to just count the money, spend the money, and then be mad that I don't got it fast enough. I fucking hate that shit. Because I'm really doing some monumental shit. Like, when I ultimately build my own school, motherfuckers going to look back at my old episodes and be like, oh, wow. But until then, god damn it. Like, keep that negative shit around me, dog. Like, I don't, from around me in my bad. I don't like that shit. I really hate negative motherfuckers, bro. And I'm not a negative nigga. My bad. Hold on. Let me text nigga. All right. Boom. So, I forgot what the fuck I was saying, so let's just move on, nigga. Um, number two on the list, water the plants. Niggas water them every Monday. That's what I do. All right. Um... Is that, yo, can y'all hear me? Hey, yo, hold on. There's one nigga watching. Drop a one in the chat if you can hear me. Because, I don't know. I, the headphones, I don't hear it no more. But anyways, shout out my niggas calling and shit. They be showing me love. I would use my other phone, but the shit don't be working like that on the live, nigga. So, I got to use the phone that niggas be calling me from. So, anyways, but... J- is any, if anybody's, well, you know what, I'm going to keep talking, and then hopefully motherfuckers can, oh, there's a one, oh, shit, so it's working, all right, bet, 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 water my plants, next, this morning, when I first woke up, I drank warm lemon water, I actually just put the, the cup in the sink, but, nigga, I'm not always drunk, bro, like, I hate when motherfuckers really be talking that shit, like, all you do is drink and smoke, no, the fuck, I don't. I'm just a happy motherfucker because I almost died when I was 14 years old and I appreciate life. So just because you didn't have a near-death experience and you over there just motherfucking being a zombie robot, that ain't got shit to do with me, nigga. I appreciate life. And when I'm gone, nigga, that's it. I lived it to the fullest. I don't need to drink to have a motherfucking good time. And don't ever fucking forget that. And like I say, I smoke to calm down because I'm tired of being told that I'm too turnt because I'm fucking being natural. So motherfuckers... Anyways, I'm on bottle number fucking four. This is bottle four of water. I'm fucking, man, fuck niggas who don't fucking understand me, bro. I hate that shit. Um, post a mixing story to the snap. I put a check there. I don't know if I did that now that I think about it. But I definitely went on Instagram this morning around midnight and made an episode uh, on spatial effects in um, audio engineering. And what I did was I skipped a step. I forgot to do the DSA. So later on in the list, you'll see I'm about to go right after this. I'm going to go back on Instagram, make a new episode on DSs. So I'm kind of jumping all over my, my shit and shit. But yeah, motherfuckers is going to show niggas how to use a DSA and, and, and continue to help motherfuckers make industry level fucking quality mixes out their motherfucking bedroom. That's what I do. Until I get paid. Now motherfuckers is definitely like, well, you've been doing this shit too long. Why you ain't get paid yet? I don't fucking know. I'm fucking nice at it. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers don't want to pay yet. So I got to continue to grind until I find the people who respect my grind and actually pay me. Until then, I fucking wake up every day and go find my own money. And then the money I do find, I invest it. So I'm growing the shit and I'm building businesses. So nobody can ever fucking tell me that I'm not a successful black man in the United States of a motherfucking America. I don't care what your metric of success is. Fuck. Next. Fold, Bitcoin mining app. Yo, you know I'm that nigga because Protagonist52 officially has a motherfucking robot on Instagram. So shout out to the fake page. That is not me. 
And anytime I talk money, I will never ask y'all for a fucking penny. I've been broke my whole fucking life and I'm living happily. So nigga, I don't need to steal and scam. But I will say when I drop links in the comments about Fold, Lolly, and E-Rewards, those are because those are things that I actually do every day. I press the fucking button on fold. Bomb. I press the fucking button on Lolly at 9 o'clock. Can't, I can't do it right now. We got to wait two hours. But bong. And then E-Rewards, which I said I'm going to talk to you all about every day. Yo, I'm about to start, which is this is an income two out of seven that we could do every day. I'm about to just invest like five minutes, do one survey. Bong. Just let that money add up. Why? Because I'm taking the shit doing nothing in there. Why not take some money? If you're serious about financial independence, you do what the fuck you got to do until you get there. And you don't let nothing stop you. All right? And I'm not letting none of these negative words, even from people that I thought loved me the most, fucking affect me. I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do because I'm not going to go backwards. I did the whole college route. I worked nine to five as a fucking world-class math teacher. Still got fired on some bullshit. And because I couldn't afford the lawyer, here I am. Motherfuckers don't understand that. So you think I'm really going to go back to school? Go back into a school work nine to five for someone that treat me like that again? Or you think I'm going to build my own shit to where nobody can fucking tell me nothing? I think I'll take the latter over the former. Okay, next. Um, check the email and DM. I told you, there'd be financial opportunities in there. My man said, fuck them, bro. Yo, that's it. Kevs in fuck you mode to everybody. Anyone who don't fucking respect me enough to talk to me like a man, anyone who's just going to run and think, oh, you're yelling so you're crazy, or when people say I'm violent even though I don't have no fucking criminal record, fuck them, yo. Fuck them. Your brain don't fucking work. Like, anyone whose fucking brain works is proud of me as a black man. If you're not proud of me, your brain don't work. Straight the fuck up. One more time we go through my resume. Fucking... I graduated Balfour Fucking Academy, full scholarship recipient, graduated John D. O'Brien School of Mathematics and Motherfucking Science, full scholarship out that bitch. I did math and secondary education at Northeastern University, graduated, graduated with a motherfucking 3.0. So don't tell me I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do be loud. That's why you don't have to be here. Why do you think I don't show up on my show and say, like, comment, share, and subscribe? I don't say that because I don't want niggas here who can't handle me being loud. I don't want niggas here who can't handle me talking about money 24-7. Because that's the only shit I give a fuck about until I get to where I got to get to. And I'm going to shit on everybody in the process. Don't give a fuck who you are. Don't give a fuck how old you are. Don't give a fuck about your skin color. If you treating me with disrespect, I'm throwing it right back at you times 10. What this girl I got a mini crush on say, even though she don't fuck with me. We proud of you, though. You just loud. It's a fire sign thing. Then guess what? If me being loud is a fire sign thing, you can, not you personally, because I like when you pull up, but you could just exit the live. You get what I'm saying? You could just be like, oh, he's too loud for me. Protect your own peace, because me being loud is a part of my peace. It makes me happy. I got all this energy built up. If God is real, the motherfucker created me like this. So what, what, what am I supposed to do? Just not be myself? But what I can say is, motherfuckers don't need to be here. You could just, okay, I don't like his show. Log out. Go find the show where they don't swear. Go find the show where they are certified public accountants. I'm just an entertainer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what the homie say, she said, okay, peace. All right. So maybe she, maybe she about to leave soon. But... We, I appreciate the love. You know, let me lower my voice when I speak to her. Yo, I appreciate the love, yo. <laughs> but I'm back to being turned. <laughs> I'm Mr. Mushroom Man. Um, and no, I didn't take any drugs. And no, I, the only drug I take are motherfucking over-the-counter vitamins. Because I don't technically know what's inside that shit. So I do take my fucking vitamins. That's next on my list. Damn, somewhere on the list. I take my vitamins. That's it. I don't do drugs like that. I smoke a little weed. And I, don't, I haven't bought weed in a long time because... I'm creating generational wealth, and motherfucker, I got fired. I had to run up or run down. I don't know what it's called. My savings account, liquidate the shit. So where the fuck am I going to have a weed budget? That shit ain't smart. I don't do that. That's why if you see me at the party smoking, somebody handed me that shit. The fuck? I, I do not invest in marijuana right now. I can't afford it. It's not in my budget. But one day I'll be back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Going through th- trade fives in one day. Until then, shit. 
Most of the time, I ain't even high. And when niggas talk to me talking about, oh, you acting like that because you high. No, the fuck I'm not. I'm sober as a motherfucker. I'm just, I appreciate life more than the average person. Some people have to drink, smoke, touch money to be happy. Me, I'm just, no, fuck, I'm out here, dog. Like, that feeling of knowing you almost died, shit, will never escape me. So I'm out here living as long as I can in this bitch, nigga. So what we got next? Um, the future of investing. So those of you who like day trading, let me give you the day trade. It's the same from the last three episodes because nine, nine o'clock is not hit yet. But for some of you, this might be the first time on my show. So fuck it. I got your back. Um, you creating generational anger. How? When, when, when my family sees my accounts, they be smiling. How? <laughs> Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. How? How? <laughs> I don't need to justify my greatness. This motherfucker know about me. Speaking about that, mo- my motivation Monday. Let me get rid of this video. Remove. Because I already posted it. But what the fuck was I looking for? Oh, we looking for our, 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 our stocks for today. So in my folder, in my picture shit. Just a joke. Of course. I know. Of course. Of course. Don't. I did not take that personal, bro. Um, but I, you can see what I'm capable of. I be snapping right back. <laughs> Uh, IG schedule. Nope. Let me go to financial portfolio. Then I'm going to find income four out of seven in that folder. Let me get to the stocks of the day, which are, it should be eight of them. Here we go. All right. I'm going to do this quick. Cause I did this with y'all for the last three days. So, you know, I'm going to just do this real quick, but ticker sim. Oh, yo, real quick, real quick. I am not a certified public accountant. I'm just a nigga creating generational anger. No, sir. I'm just a nigga trying to create generational wealth. And please do not buy, sell, or hold a stock just because I said so. Check in with your certified public accountant and your family. Definitely if you're a man, check in with your wife. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Your due diligence before you just jump in. But just know that these are my buy limits. I am trying to get in. And shit, I don't give a fuck. But I, ticker symbol, I-M-G-N. We're trying to, oh, buy limit. If you don't know what that is, talk to me in the comments. Buy limit, $6.35. We're trying to slide out six sixty eight. DVAX, D-V-A-X, buy limit at twelve sixty six. We're trying to get out thirteen thirty three. M-G-M, all right? M as in mom, G as in grand, M as in mom, M-G-M. Buy limit, $39.34. We trying to slide out, $41.41. MNKD. Buy limit at 30. I lied. I lied. Let me do that again. MNKD. Buy limit at $3.85. And we trying to slide out $4.05. MYGN. We're trying to get in at $23.23. We're trying to slide out at $24.77. Before I go to the next page, because I have to take two screenshots, please remember, the date is December 13th, all right? So if I don't get in on December 13th, that's it. My buy limit is just for today. It's not a 90-day thing, so just had to throw that out there. Um, Next one, N-U-G-T, buy limit, $42.78, and I'm trying to slide out at $45, okay? Um. Next, OSTK. If you got in with me last week at $73.99, I'm telling you, get out. It ain't going the direction we want. We sliding out. And where are we sliding out at? $73.22, which I believe is the closing price. So that's probably going to be something close to the opening price today. Some shit like that. Um, but however, we still fucking with OSTK. We're trying to get in where... We're going to set a buy limit for OSTK at $69.56. So we're going to bring that money right back, except we ain't going to get down there with such a big loss. We're going to cut our loss up here. Then the stock goes down here. We hop in down there, buy low, sell high. Fuck with your fucking boy. My man says shouldn't had a brew. Um, shouldn't have had a brew this early. I'll be on some funny shit, laugh type shit. Ha, that's lit. See, I don't need that yet, though. Like I wake up, I'll be waking up like, why the fuck was I asleep? ready to have a good time. That's just how I am. 
And like I said, if God is real, he created me like this. If y'all got a problem with me, take it up with your God if you believe in one God. Shit. Don't bring that negative energy to me, nigga. Tell your God, yo, why the fuck you make Kev like that? Shit. See what that nigga say. Dear Jesus, why is Kev so turned? <laughs> All right. But we're trying to get in $69.56 of OSTK. And we're trying to slide out of 73.22. And last but not least, plug power. Buy limit. We're trying to get in $31.56. We're trying to get out $33.22. There you have it. Those are literally my buy setups for December 13th. I can't tell you which ones are going to get in because the stock market didn't open. By the time I come back to YouTube, it'll be a new day. But I tell you, shh, I set them buy limits and then automate it. Boom. That way, I could also use that same time to generate even more earned income. All right? Now let's get it. Uh, bill tracking note. So my next bill is, again, due on the 16th pretty big one so i don't know how i'm gonna afford it but i get on my ass i get up off my ass every day and i go chase it um on some creative be- breakfast shit my man got some stuffed pancakes this motherfucker be making me hungry I fucking hate this motherfucker all my life I'm, i I really think i'm gonna learn how to cook just to shut this nigga the fuck up <laughs> no so i'm just playing with you man um so bread overnight i told y'all every night i gotta leave and find money and i don't come back until i do that's just how it goes until I'm at a point where I don't have to do that. <laughs> now, every time I step out, I document the hours. All right. And then on that same document tells me how to allocate my funds. Who's supposed to have which account supposed to have which. So to all the people who think because I'm struggling to pay um, my bills that I'm not investing behind y'all's back, you're fucking foolish the fuck you think I'm gonna show up every day talk all of this shit and then I got nothing nowhere no what that means is my disposable income ain't where it need to be but the investments is popping and I'm trying to have the investments change lives that's why I didn't cash them out yet I could easily cash them out shut a couple people down but then I'm back to square one what does that solve I majored in math bro (laughs) that logic ain't mathematically elite you know what I mean so anyways, um, say 10% off rip. Again, for the 2022, we're going to fucking save 10% of every dime. As of this year, I'm going to just continue doing what I'm doing because each one of my side hustles is set up differently based on what I anticipated I was going to make this year. So we're going to create new goals for the 22. You're going to hear that for the next couple of weeks. Invest 25% in Bitcoin. Shit. There's a couple of motherfuckers that owe me right now, and if they pay me back in a timely fashion, I'm investing in Bitcoin past my um 25th. Like I, I invested so far ahead because I know what Bitcoin's gonna do. Shit. If motherfuckers pay me back, I'll invest another week in advance. Go watch my prior episodes know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, Bottle of water, I ain't gonna mention those no more. Motherfuckers, just know that this is bottle number four. So when I get to four on the list, I'm gonna take a sip. My man said he's gonna teach me how to cook. Of course, when I fly out to Titletown, shit, I'm gonna be out there. And for those of you who don't know, at the time of this recording, the Milwaukee Bucks are the reigning NBA champions. So when I fly out to Milwaukee, motherfucker, shit, shit, it's going down. I got you. Or you got me. Word. Um, But yeah, I told y'all I, I popped my vitamin. I did eat my breakfast. I ate four pieces of leftover chocolate from the party I bartended the other day. That's why I get offended when people talk to me funny, because I'm like, yo, I'm over here eating fucking candy and shit for breakfast, like, doing what I got to do to make sure that my accounts are funded on a timely fashion to make sure that this generational wealth is created. You feel me? So, I can show y'all, too, real nigga shit. Shout out to my Vietnamese niggas. I fucking, on my way out, I was like, yo, let me get some candy. They was like, yeah, take what you want. So, I took the fucking... Orange ones and these ones, that's the white chocolate. So I ate the fucking orange ones with the caramel inside. And then this one, I got, what, eight pieces of chocolate? So one of these days, not tomorrow, because I already got some old candy that I got to finish. Yo, that's going to be my breakfast one of these days to make sure I can save the $5 so that I can invest it in another account so that I can fucking grow this shit in a way motherfuckers don't know. So everybody talking shit about me don't know about me. 
And it makes sense because I be up at midnight. Motherfuckers is asleep. By the time regular motherfuckers is up, I already done made my money for the day. I already got my stocks ready for the fucking day. Fucking hit the gym. Like, I just move on a different fucking wavelength than motherfuckers. But that doesn't make me better or worse than niggas. However, anyone who actually cares about me would be like, wow, this motherfucker's working hard. Wow. You ain't eight motherfucking good, healthy breakfast in a, in a minute. What can I get you? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's how I see a, a utopia in my head. So until I fucking create one, shit, I'm making a sacrifice for my family. Motherfuckers know what it is. Bottle of water number three, skip. Motherfuckers know I already drank that. Get Upside. Get Upside is a fucking cash back reward program. If you use your debit or credit card, the motherfuckers will give you cash back at the gas station or certain restaurants. My, the only restaurant I know about is Burger King. That's the only one I can fucking afford. The motherfuckers used to have a $1 sandwich. I used to buy that shit. Like, that shit's in my price range. If you come when it's warm out, we're going to have a tomahawk steak, burnt eggs, and cheese sp- spaghetti. Yo, I'm fucking, yo. Yeah. Plus the drink. You know, I'm a bartender. You know, that's why I come in, motherfucker. I got the drinks. That's what I'm talking about. And you already know when I pull up, we going live. Motherfuckers got oh, shit. When I'm a, when I'm in Milwaukee, motherfuckers will be live. Yes, indeed. Um, now back to the get upside shit. Remember, I'm not asking for your fucking debit card. I'm not asking for none of these fucking cash app scammers or crypto scam. I'm not asking for none of that. If I send my fucking sign up link. All you do is do the link. I'll get cash back when you get your cash back. So we taking money from them motherfuckers. I ain't taking no money from you. Fuck I look like. If I take money from you, then I become the same problem that I'm complaining about. I want motherfuckers in the hood to have an opportunity at financial independence. If I'm scamming motherfuckers, how the fuck is that possible? And niggas know I'm for the streets. Next, unfollowed unfollowers. I I, des- I decided that I'm going to... Oh, I skipped one. Update the gas prices on ways. Y'all know I did that. I look out for my fellow niggas. Um, fellow drivers, I should say. Unfollowed unfollowers. Remember, y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna follow me on Instagram, and then I follow y'all back, and then you unfollow me on some pussy shit so you can get your numbers up. I don't play that shit. So starting from now on, once a month is when I'm gonna go through um, my my friends list and get rid of the motherfuckers who unfollowed me. All right. So you'll see a, a check mark every episode today because I already did it for the month. Um, I can't afford to. I can't afford to invest the time to do it every day. Plus, it ain't even that serious. So I'm going to add it to my list once a month, but then we check it off when we complete it. Because we don't even know how many people are going to follow and unfollow me every month. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't predict it. Next, download apps, updates via Wi-Fi. Because remember, when you be outside without Wi-Fi and you download an update, they be taking it from your um, cell phone bill or data plan or whatever. So something to think about if you have access to Wi-Fi. Motivation Monday IG post. So I put part one because Mondays, I always try to post motivational Monday posts. Because y'all know I got an um, IG schedule. Motivation Monday, Selfie Tuesday, Wisdom Wednesday, uh, Throwback Thursday, Flashback Friday, Saturdays for the boys. Sundays I do what I want. And then these days, um, oh, also, every time I leave the gym, I post a selfie to inspire people to work out, especially in the black community. Um, and then... On Thursdays, I post weekly investments, the ones I invest for my son. I feel like I'm missing one more, but oh, anyways, those are my schedules. So I gotta write these shits down. It's hard to make, you know, keep up with all of them posting and shit. So I'll um post like I did today, and then I write my next week post. Did I put a check there? Yeah, I did. So I already got next week's post. Today I'm in the gym. Um, next Monday I'll be in the studio, this studio, the one I fucking built, trying to inspire motherfuckers. Um, next on the list, number twenty eight. Record the live. That's what we're doing right now. Hold on. Why my nose so itchy, though? And fuck it. Um, download the live. Oh, wait. Record the live. That's what we're doing. Bottle of water number four. Let's sip that now. Number of motherfucking four. And y'all think I'm just a drunk. Somebody's lying. <laughs> That's all I'm going to keep saying. Somebody's lying. Like, every time... Every time I hear that I'm crazy or that I need therapy, which I did therapy twice. So, come on, man. You know you can always share the fucking rest, the recipe, especially if you want to 
hook it up for the live. Just know I'm gonna post this video. So if it's top secret, send it to me in the um DM. But um next time people say I need therapy, I'm just gonna say you're lying because I did therapy twice and I'm still the same nigga. I don't think I'm a problem. I think people trying to fucking um I think people trying to make me into them is the problem. Because I'm special and unique. You gotta, you know. You gotta appreciate me for who I am. You can't take a nigga who's a motherfucking scholarship recipient, multi-time student of the year, motherfucker, and compare him to regular niggas. That that don't get that don't make no sense. Um, you get PTSD from what? Um, download the live, we'll do that after. Upload the live, we'll do that after. Now, post a mixing story on the snap. Well, every time I I go on Twitter to um make an engineering video, I go on the snap to remind motherfuckers, like, yo, I do this. So we're going to do that probably right after this, because I don't think I need that much time on the on Instagram. I might just rock the same thing and just get it done. What are we going to be doing? The DSer on, on the chorus. So you can meet me on IG if y'all want motherfucking engineer music. If you get this after, then I'll post it. Again, the date is December 13th. So when I post it on my page, all you got to do is scroll down to December 13th. All right? Just look for it. All right, next. Prepare gym clothes. So after I get off of Instagram, I will head to the motherfucking goddamn gym. I'm working harder than niggas. So I don't ever want to hear people say I'm crazy or I'm lazy. Well, that's some bone thug shit, but you get what I'm saying, though. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah, the street shit. Yeah, that'd be real. Um. But on my way to the gym, I'm going to post a story like, hey, I'm heading to the gym. I'm going to inspire motherfuckers. Well, so, I mean, somebody one day will get inspired. Who knows? Um, then I'm actually go to the gym when I'm supposed to work out with, with homie. So we'll see if she show up. Um, and at the gym, that should be bottle water number five. So this is misread. This is miscopied. That's the, this one is going to be written. I said written. Drank in the gym. This one's getting drank right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Motherfuckers probably gonna pull up with the Poland Spring endorsement type shit. But anyways. Oh, and for the record, I drink room temperature water. But I do understand that if you want to lose weight, cold water is the better way to go. Alright? Again, I'm not certified public nothing. I'm just a nigga. So take that information back to your certified people. Nerds, motivation. Um, that should say Monday because I copied it from the Saturday thing. So motivation Monday, IG post too. So that's when I walk out the gym, take a busted selfie. Like I just take a selfie. I don't care if I'm sweating, no filters, just keeping it raw. Like, yo, psh, this I left the gym, what up? Why? To inspire people on my timeline. I know there's someone on my timeline who's like, you know what? This motherfucker keep talking about the gym. I'm going to start. And if you read my captions, I be rashing niggas. We ain't waiting until January 1st. We ain't one of them New Year's motherfuckers. I be talking shit. So I believe that my work will inspire at least one person to lose weight like I did. I think I'm down like 80, 90 pounds. And I got like 50 more that I want to go in the next five years. So, nigga, I'm doing something. Um, Post-workout snack. It's right here. This is what we eating after the gym. All right? Got it right there. When I come back from the gym is when I'm going to take a shower. All right? Personally, I don't like to take a shower just to be around all the motherfuckers with the Rona. I like to come home and wash the Rona off my body. So... <laughs> Then, um, actually, this is off because I wrote shower, brush my teeth, lunch with the bottle of water. I'm thinking I'm going to come home, eat first, and then take a shower. Oh, no, that don't make no sense. Because if I just had a workout snack, I ain't going to be hungry. That's why I did it like that. My bad, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to take a shower, brush my teeth, and then wait and see when I get hungry to eat. And, again, I got some fucking shout out to my Vietnamese niggas. Them niggas hooked me up. So I got some leftovers still. Like, niggas, niggas know what I'm about. I've been eating rock and leftovers my whole life. But, damn, I opened the wrong bottle. 
You know what I'm saying? I went through eight bottles yesterday. Yo, cheers to that. Now, there is such thing as drinking too much water. So, you you know, make sure you pay attention to your body and shit. Don't go Al Rocker now. I don't know who Al Rocker is. Yeah, my bad. I know Bone Thugs, though. Well, I don't know them personally. Kevin, move on. Uh, Let's see. Bottle water number six will happen with lunch. Then I got to go to the dentist this morning because motherfuckers kept rescheduling my shit. So I got to show up today. And then maybe I get a smoke break. Maybe. That's if my man's is around still. Um, And then, oh, I put nap out of order. So then we're going to do motherfucking... I just had to rearrange the order. So then when I come out of the smoke break, if that happens, another bottle of water, eat some dinner, and then it'll be time to go to sleep. You feel me? So that's how we do, yo. My main topic today, I don't have one because I want y'all to meet me on IG. Meet me on IG to learn or review DSers. DSers are a special compressor in which they're only dealing with the frequency range in which you choose. And you should be choosing approximately the 5,000 to about, you know, 12,000 range. And then you, you find, because every voice individually is different. And so you would find where, where you got to go. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and on that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. And I lied. Yo, Junior, meet me on IG. If, if you're still fucking with me. Um, but on that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm A-Live, there will be A-Live. I want y'all to meet me on IG. December 13th is the day. Y'all already know what it is. I love y'all. Peace mode.